Hi, I'm Crystal. As a child, I was always nurturing and naturally loved dolls. When I became an adult and discovered reborn dolls, my little family started to grow. There's Haley, Landon, Avery, Chloe, Shiloh, Grace, Jamie, Jeremy, Maya, Yuki, and Savannah. Along with collecting, I have been a reborn artist since 2008. It isn't easy keeping up with my collection, but it's a lot of fun. Hey guys, I'm here with Haley. I haven't seen her in a while. Um, I do intend to do a day in the life with her on. It's been so long since I've had her electronics on. And I do always have fun when I, when I do it. I think it's just that in terms of realism um, in appearance, uh, as, as well as in feel, Reworns just are more realistic to me. They're more cuddly. She's, you know, full vinyl, so she's very stiff. She's very heavy. Um, and so for me, my Reborns are my favorites just because they have that cuddle factor. Um, but, you know, before I had Reborns, Haley was all I had, and I used to cuddle her every day and change her every day and I used to love putting her electronics on and having to tend to her. Um, still no better on the, the situation with the discoloration on the back of her head. Um, and, and you know, like I said, I discovered some other areas on her that had some slight discoloration that's similar. Um, and so I don't know if it's just something with her vinyl over time, or my other thought would be that not too long ago, I guess, maybe about a, a few months to a year ago, perhaps, um, I had given her a really good dusting and, and cleaning and put um, baby lotion on her. Now, before you guys freak out and be like, ooh, you're not supposed to put baby lotion. Well, yes, of course, you're never supposed to put baby lotion on the Reborns, but um, the neonates and the baby think it overs were constructed a little bit differently. Their vinyl's different. Um, they're not painted as much or as detailed. And so back in the day, we would just put a little bit of lotion and mainly rub it into our hands and then rub it on their body. And we were told that it was totally harmless because um, their kind of vinyl can dry out over time. And we were told that, you know, a little bit of lotion here and there wasn't going to hurt it. It was actually probably going to preserve the vinyl. Well, this lotion is like very old that I had and I hadn't realized it because I mean I I don't generally use baby lotion on my babies anymore and it didn't dawn on me until I noticed these discolorations on her vinyl that wow this lotion that I probably used on her is like years years old I mean like very very old probably <laughs> more than six years old I guess because I think I bought it I probably bought it either before we moved in here or just slightly after we moved in here. And so I'm wondering if maybe um, it had some kind of reaction with the vinyl because it was old. Um, thankfully, thank God, if that's the case, it didn't happen all over her. Um, but it did happen on, you know, some parts of her, if that is the case. I mean, I'm only speculating. I really don't know. Um, because, like I said, my first thought was that the pillow she had been laying on is what discolored the back of her head. But then when I found spots on the rest of her body um, that I knew weren't touching the pillow, then it kind of didn't make sense that it's the pillow. Um, it has to be something else. But, um, you know, from the front, here's what her hair is supposed to look like. Her hair isn't actually much different in color from the rest of her body. It's just basically a, mold, a molded hair. Um, <clears throat> but uh, anyways, she's here and 
yeah, I just thought, you know, I'm going to pull her out and try and bond with her a little bit more. It's been for long, forever since I've used her and played with her. And I'm looking forward to actually doing a, a day in the life video with her, having her on and everything. But, um, anyway, she's over here because she spotted Elfie. And lo and behold... Look where Elfie is. She is at Santa's desk with Santa. How perfect is that? So she is right near Santa to give him any kind of news on who's naughty or who's nice around here. But Haley's a nice girl. Aren't you, Haley? Mwah. Um... So, yeah, it's just, it's really upsetting to me, though, uh, about what's happened with her vinyl. Um, because even though she was never really painted with very much detail, I mean, she was pretty much just a basic one-tone vinyl with a little bit of blushing here and there. I mean, no creases were shaded, nothing. Um, I always found her to be beautiful um, with just the, the way that her um, vinyl felt and stuff. And like I said, one of her legs has gone shiny and the other one's normal. Like, I guess, you know, she she's old. I mean, I bought her right when we moved in here. So that's like six years ago now. Um, prior to her, I had Haley, the first Haley that was an electronic neonate, um, who I got in 2002. So, um, yeah, I just kept the same birthday of my electronic neonate for this Haley, even though it's a totally different date, just because I kept the name Haley, um, because they looked identical and I just kind of looked at it as an upgrade because the electronic neonate was more of a toy, whereas this is an actual like infant simulator. So, I mean, they looked exactly the same pretty much. So I just thought it was just like she had a upgrade essentially. And so I just kept the same birthday. So even though her birth year is like 2002, this actual doll itself was made in 2008 and arrived to me in 2008. But yeah, I noticed a little shiny spot on her finger. And then I also noticed... Um, a little, uh, where was it? I, I think it was on this finger here, but it's really hard to see on camera. Um, I saw a little white fleck on her finger, which has happened once before in the past when her hand had been resting against our bedroom wall and I didn't know it and some paint from our wall came off, but it usually washes off. But this time it washed off, but then I felt a little bump and I looked closer and she has like a little tiny bubble in her vinyl, which is really weird too, because bubbles would usually have something to do with heat, but it's not like she was near heat. Um, now I don't know if that may be something that she came with that I just never, never noticed at the time. And I only noticed it just now because I was kind of looking over at, at, you know, discolorations and I kind of spotted that, um, or, you know, because there was just some dirt there and I happened to try to clean it and then I noticed it. I don't know if she always had that, but I thought that was kind of weird too. So I don't know, maybe she's just showing her age. I don't know. Like, I mean, I really, I haven't heard of this happening to anyone else with these dolls. Um, you know, I've been tempted to upgrade to the newer one that just came out, the Real Care 3, but I don't like the fact that you have to use the clothes from the company on it because now the new one has sensors in the clothing so that it can tell that you've changed the baby into a new outfit and an outfit that's appropriate for whatever the weather is. Um, and it also records like temperature. So if it's too hot or too cold, like you have to dress it according. So, um, for me, I was like kind of put off by that. Um, because of course the fun is, you know, dressing them. 
So I haven't done it. Um, also, I don't even know if I would be able to window one out of them again like I did the last time um, because generally they only sell to schools. And the only reason I was able to get her from the company is because I told them that I wanted to use her as an educational tool with my fiance just to see, you know, how we did um, parenting together. So, yeah. Um, but anyways, enough rambling on. But anyways, enough of that. Let's just have another quick look at Elfie. And then I have got to get my button gear um, and start wrapping gifts that I am going to be shipping out to some friends, some old friends, some new friends that I have made on YouTube, um, and things like that. So I can't exactly show you what I'm wrapping, but maybe I can like kind of show you the process as I go along. Maybe Haley will help me out a little or one of, or maybe even Grace. Grace is a little bit older. She, maybe she'll help me out a bit. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But we'll check in later um, either way because we have to do our advent calendar after dinner. Um, but I'll try to check in with some more um, Christmas activities with the babies. Well, guys, it's a Christmas explosion in here. <laughs> I'm finally finished wrapping all the gifts that need to be shipped out, except for, I have to do my mentors, but hers I don't actually have to wrap, it just has to go in a bubble envelope. But I finished it all. Haley is having fun checking out everything. Um, we've got wrapping paper and shipping boxes and oh, all kinds of stuff everywhere. I'm finally going to be able to sit down and relax. I just have to tidy up a little bit. But um, I've got some gifts. Let me see. I've got some gifts over there to be shipped out. I don't want anyone to see who they are for. But there they are. There is one, two, three, four boxes and also, my friend who has run the Neonates and Baby Think It Over Club with me since like 2003, we exchange gifts every year, although now that she has children, I mostly send her gifts for the children. And this year, I got a little carried away. <laughs> Usually, I only send like one to two things per kid, but there's a mountain of stuff for them this year. <laughs> And I actually do not have a box that's going to fit at all. So I'm going to have to see if hopefully the largest box at the post office will fit them. Otherwise, it might have to be shipped in two different boxes. So yeah, but those are there just waiting for a shipping box. And I have some bubble envelopes as well going out over here and yeah so well Haley you're hanging out over there let me bring the advent calendar over we gotta do our advent calendar oh and the most disgusting thing happened I pulled out one of my shipping boxes from the crawl space um, to see if my friend's children's gifts would fit in it and it didn't and so like I pulled it out, I roughly put it together just so I could see if it fit. And then as I was folding it back up to put it away, I happened to notice that on the edge of the, the box were two spider cocoons. One of them was empty. The other one had a spider in it, but it was dead. It was a dead spider, but just the same, it was totally disgusting. I freaked out just a little bit. Um, yeah. And even though it was already dead, I still flushed it down the toilet because <laughs> it's just gross. And now I'm itching because I'm thinking about spiders and it's gross. Ugh. You never know what's lurking in the crawl space. Okay. Um, number nine.
number nine, Haley. Tomorrow is December 10th, which means tomorrow is my birthday. And I have notified Alex that I would like an ice cream cake, preferably an Oreo Blizzard cake from Dairy Queen. Um, <laughs> here is a Christmas tree, I believe. Can, whoops. Oopsie. There it is. Looks like a Christmas tree to me. What do you guys think? I'm pretty darn sure that's a Christmas tree. It looks like the shape of one. But I am going to show it to Haley. <laughs> who's just over here trying to get into the paper and stuff. But there it is, our little Christmas tree chocolate. So yeah, I'm gonna eat it now. <laughs> because it's my birthday, technically in, well, in a half hour it will be midnight and then it will be my birthday. However, I don't think I was born at midnight. I'm not sure what time I was born at. Hmm. Anyway. Yeah. Well. At least I got pretty much everything ready to be mailed. There is a post office at the mall I'm going to tomorrow to get my hair cut. So I will pick up the biggest box they have. And hopefully it will fit all of the stuff to send to Nicole. But yeah. This is... um my bin where I keep my Christmas cards and bags and tissue paper and wrapping paper and it's green because it's for Christmas. I also have the one for the that holds the rolls of paper and I've also put some bags in there as well. Anywho, I'm going to call it a night so that I can quickly edit this and I want to have a nice hot chocolate and relax a little bit with my heating pad because my joints are quite achy from running around here like a chicken with my head cut off. Um, <laughs> so tomorrow will just be a relaxing day because it is my birthday and I am just going to enjoy it. Um, yeah, I'm just going to relax and not do anything really so I mean I will vlog a little bit so you guys can see my haircut and see what my mom and I are up to and see my birthday cake and things like that but other than videoing um that's all I'm doing I'm just gonna get my hair done and hang out with my mom probably watch a movie and have dinner with her and Alex and eat my cake and just chill and not do anything so because I've just been going 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 like for the last two weeks and I need a break so I guess that's it um, and we'll see you in the next video but guys <laughs> say bye to your aunties Haley bye bye good night everybody <laughs> Bye guys. Today is Chloe's birthday. So it's been six years since she joined us, which means it's been six years since I first started to make Rayborns. I can't believe it. Um, I'm gonna share a little bit about that in a minute, but first Chloe and I wanted to show you where Alfie is today. 